deep south. I got three walls here. Wall spike here, just in case. My AFK spot is way out there or in the middle. So my there, so I don't have to worry about anything here. If you're over here at Valley, wherever you are, then you'll need uh, some more stuff here. Okay. So I've got two freezing ramps. That's coming from above here. We've got two next to floor freeze traps. One coming from there, one coming from over here. Alright, so that is keeping them in the center when it's placed like this. This one's keeping them in the center as well when it's placed like this. And then the tires are pushing them backwards over here. Sound wall and a wall light with healing here. Two impact wall launchers. A wall dart. A one impact wall launcher. Freeze. All of these are double reload effectoration. Three durability. Uh, okay, now we're at the zero impact with healing. Zero impact with healing. Wall dart. Wall dart. Tar pit, tar pit. Tires three high from here all the way to here. This tire, uh, I guess it's pushing this way, that's fine. But if you turn it around and have it pushing them back this way. Okay. And this tunnel here, a gas trap, a freeze trap, one broadside. And then uh, I've got nine broadsides here. Um, I think it's pretty good. Nothing really gets past this point. I haven't taken damage in a couple months with this design. Um, yeah, I've got nine broadsides here. One, two, three. Design. The mini bosses, depending on their modifier, have been breaking floors, so I just have a bunch of connection points here. Uh, because I 
used to have lava bombs, and this would shift the lava bomb. But uh, you can just put a normal tarp in now. Here's what the block off in here looks like. You just need walls, you don't need cones or whatever. There's three floating ramps right there. Right? There's a flinger would try to throw from here if you didn't have it. Um, you don't need flinger protection where you have a wall launcher because they're going to get launched. These are all zero impact. Uh, there's actually two wall launchers on this wall. I tried to put three but I stacked in the wrong order so I just have a random wall here now on the inside. I wanted to put the wall light down but I can't uh, buried. So yeah, this, this thing right here is kind of important. A lot of the husks can actually get through here, or a couple, and uh, you need this three impact to push them back. This is basically for whatever spawns right here. That's all it is. It could probably be a lot less, but I needed this much to be able to stop any leaks. So nothing in the cave up to these points here, because anything in here will take priority over the amp, because the targeted structures are three tiles up, so you have to now be one, two, three tiles out. Try it. You can try blocking the cave but it just won't work unless you have like a, a smasher bridge or a different amp design completely all the way up to this point they can't have a wall here you can't have one here, 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 anywhere even here all the way up to here so if my amp design does break down this is my new amp design right here and uh it seems to last punch here. No freeze down below. One structure is better than two. Uh, it's best to just completely despawn your flingers. J block here. Fixed RBB right here. Just like uh, behind Devil Amp. It will will not break like this. That is the best block off. Okay. My RBB connection point right here. Got three RBBs on this side. Quarter pizza. RBB connected to this floor, which is connected to this wall. Got another wall here with a floor above right here, I guess. And all the flingers like to stand right here. They used to stand right here, but uh, I don't, yeah, you don't need this. They'll stand right here. Anything that spawns right here, just right here. It's very rare. Okay. All the south flingers take the tunnel. No problem. They don't bother over here. So we got three floating f uh, ramps here and four here. Normal bumper block right here. That's it. Tar pit here because uh, uh, 
of smashers charge at the amp. And sometimes they'll charge like this, slip off, and break this. So you have to have this right here. Very important. For the most part, most of them are actually going to just charge down here. They might punch these, but that's okay. The more you change your amp, the different behavior your mini boss is going to have. So, the more you change things, say I add a wall right here, the mini boss might have a completely different pattern do a different kind of loop. Honestly, since I added this ramp, it's the bee's knees. It's what you need. The mini boss likes to stand here now. This is his loop. Then he'll drop here. And usually he will teleport onto this little mountain. Which then he will stand right here up in the air just kind of float there for a second and then he'll somehow get to this floor again and just do that over and over or he'll be a frenzy and break all the floors 